I first got those shoes, they're actually those ones right there. I took them to Dubai, and no, I didn't walk through the desert in them. I, uh, I put them on just for the photo. What's up guys, it's Justin here, and today I've got a Hypebeast room tour, which a lot of you have been requesting for quite a while now. So because my room has still stayed very minimal and nothing has really changed since the last video, the first person that came to mind when I thought of this episode was my friend Henry. Travels the world shooting landscape and fashion photography and overall just likes a lot of the same things that I like and seemingly a lot of you guys like as well. So he just moved into his new apartment and has been kind of setting up over the past few months so today we're going to go ahead and tour it and let him also talk about his setup, his collection as well as the work he does. So because this is a tech channel, let's just go ahead and start out with the desk setup tour itself. So the style that you're going to notice around the room is everything is very clean and simple and also follows a simple color scheme of black and white. At least when it comes to furniture, as you are going to see hints of color with the accessories and the props around the room. On one side you have the Supreme Anatomy as well as a water bottle and also the bare brick from ComplexCon. The computer itself is the iMac 27 inch with 5K display which is perfect for video editing as well as photo editing which is what Henry primarily does. The accessories for the most part remain stock with the Apple Magic Keyboard as well as the Magic Mouse, and the software that Henry uses to edit all of his photos is Adobe Lightroom. The hard drive he uses to store all of his photos and files is a LaCie Rugged Drive which seems to be very popular for anyone who travels a ton. The speaker of choice is the Beats Pill which comes in a nice red color to match a lot of the other accents that you're going to find around the room. The wireless charging pad on his desk is from Bape, and it's able to charge an Apple Watch as well as a smartphone at the same time. As for the camera that Henry uses for all of his work, it is a Canon 5D Mark IV full frame camera which is perfect for any sort of photography. His favorite lens at the moment is the Canon 24mm f 1.4L. I think the overall feel of the desk looks really good, it's nice and clean, simple, but still has a lot of different colors and touches to it, he's even got a plant which I still don't have. When it comes to the nightstand, this one is from Ikea as well and I think it looks overall very clean and I love the red accents and accessories that he has on top of it. I think the lockbox looks really good as a key holder or something that you have on your desk or your nightstand. There's only so much room to put the shoes on the floor, the accessories on the desk and the nightstand so Henry also picked up a couple of Ikea's display shelves. I think this is something that every hypebeast should have whether you're putting shoes, accessories and here he's got it all decked out as well as another one that he's still setting up. On the top you have a red supreme storage box and below that you have a few cost figures as well as a supreme bear. This was a collaboration with the brand Steiff which is a German teddy bear company that's apparently been making bears for over 100 years. Some other notable pieces are the Kith bear brick as well as many other little supreme accessories that I didn't even know existed. When it comes to the shoe collection, Henry has like the hype beast collection that I could only dream of. He was lucky enough to get a lot of these pairs at retail which if you guys didn't know I've never won a raffle when it comes to shoes in my entire life. But in his collection you'll find a lot of the 10 pack including all the Jordans, some of the Air Maxes, as well as the Prestos, and when it comes to Jordan 1s he's got most of the major colors as well. When it comes to Yeezys, even though those are a little bit out of date in terms of wearing them, he's still got a lot of the collection that he plans to keep for a while. This includes some of the very first pairs that he also got at retail which were the Turtle Doves. Another product that I think will be a good addition to any space including Henry's though is a Roborock. This right here is the S5 model and it is able to clean your place in terms of cleaning up dust but it also has a couple extra features up its sleeve. There is actually a wet mop attachment that you can place on one end and in addition to actually vacuuming your space it will actually mop it as well. This is especially important when it comes to hardwood floors because in addition to vacuuming you also want to be able to mop it as well because of the amount of dust that piles up. The smart laser navigation system ensures that it doesn't clean the same place twice and is very efficient in where it goes. So whether you have an apartment with multiple rooms or a big house, this will work perfectly. It can clean under and in between furniture and it also has great sensors to avoid bumping into objects too hard, especially with all these shoes and expensive accessories laying around the floor. They also make it very easy to remove and empty the dustbin and the full charge will get you up to two and a half hours of use. If you guys want to check out the best price I'm going to drop a link down below and I would like to thank them for sponsoring this video. Moving on to the closet though, this is where Henry stores most of his favorite shoes, the Jordan 1 line. He's got it in a ton of colors here including the shattered backboards, the blue, red, purple, green and blue pair. And as someone like myself who is really late to the Jordan 1 game, I think it was cool to see the different choices of material and quality over the years of the specific model. I think a lot of people would agree that the Jordan 1 is a shoe that you just really can't go wrong with and compare it with any outfit depending on the color shoe and shirt you want to coordinate. On the floor you have an Ikea mirror that is nice and simple which matches everything else as well as a Wish You Were Here Astro World Travis Scott rug. I'm going to let Henry talk a little bit more about his clothing and the different pieces, but on one side you do have the Supreme TNF collection. 
those were the fire alarms, so I was standing outside for like the last 20 minutes, but now I'm back. But I think I've talked enough, and now I'm going to hand it over to Henry to talk about the different choices that he made for different accessories, the layout and design, the shoe collection that he has, including lots of pairs that he actually got for retail price, and also the story behind some of his photos. What's up, guys? My name's Henry. I'm a photographer based in Vancouver. Uh, you might have seen me in uh, Justin's uh, Canon video, but uh, yeah, here's my room. So like, this is just like my desk setup here. Um, I like to keep it pretty clean, unlike Justin's room. I don't know, I like to just keep like a couple accessories. I don't want to overdo it. This is like my setup. So I do all my editing like on Lightroom through here. Like when I'm on the road, I'll just have my laptop with me, but I prefer to just take it home and just have the screen and just have like my just like usual setup when it comes to editing. So here's my uh, shoe collection, pretty much just the off-white collection. And then a lot of the Yeezys. People always ask me like Nike or Adidas and I don't really have a preference. I personally like them both a lot. Um, Adidas more for like the comfort and then obviously the off-white you can kind of color coordinate it with the uh, outfit so and the story behind this one is I actually caught this for retail so when they uh, when they first got announced I was in Europe when they uh, did the, the release in London and like I really want to get my hands on them but it was like pretty much impossible so fast forward to the release in uh, in Canada, my brother actually copped these for retail on Nike, like on the Nike site. So shout out to my brother. I'm gonna go to like my wall setup and then like the display thing. So like this here, actually you can just buy from Ikea. It's like 60 bucks. It's kind of a pain in the ass to put together, but like for what it is, it's super clean and you can display all your favorite stuff. I'm collecting a lot of cause lately, but uh, they keep, uh, they're pretty hard to get. The anatomy set, which by the way is impossible to put together. I have another one over there in the desk, but it takes so long. And then here, that's a photo I took in Dubai. So when uh, when I first got those shoes, they're actually those ones right there. I took them to Dubai and no, I didn't walk through the desert in them. I, uh, I put them on just for the photo. All right, so here's like my closet setup. Um, I'll run through like kind of my clothes here. And my So I have like my tees here. Got this, some Travis Scott stuff. I won't run through all of it. My Supreme tees. And then we got my Bogos here. Just a couple, like, just to like color coordinate with some of the shoes there. Obviously like my Travis Scott stuff. I'm a huge Travis Scott fan. He's like, I think he's like my favorite and arguably the best like live performer. Um, shout out to my brother. He actually rapped Travis Scott. I'm sure you saw the video in Vancouver of like an Asian guy rapping with Travis. Yeah, that's my brother. Anyways, down to like the shoes. Um, so this is like, I, I do, even though I do have some off-white stuff in here, it's mostly just like the one. So Air Jordan 1 is my favorite silhouette. Exercise mat from Supreme, I've never used and I probably will never use. <laughs> it's Travis Scott rug. And then uh, just like the, the North Face Supreme collab. This is definitely like my favorite one here. This is like my holy grail. This describes kind of like my style, just because um, being a photographer, obviously visiting a lot of these places that are on this jacket. But uh, describes like me just like, because I love obviously traveling and then capturing the moments, as you can see, like kind of through my work. All right, guys, so this is like my uh, workflow whenever I'm editing photos, just browsing the internet or whatever. Obviously, I use Lightroom. I don't like to use too much Photoshop. Um, it's pretty much just through Lightroom. And when it comes to like my editing style, um, I like to focus kind of just a lot on colors and then uh, obviously shadows, lights, highlights. Don't want to make it look too like fake. Um, I have like a really clean style, I think, and then just pulling for example, this photo here, this is the edited version, but that's what it, this is what it looked like before. So like, kind of just like cleaning up the lights there. This was in LA on Travis Scott's Astroworld tour. So I got this iMac a couple of years ago. It's uh, the 5K 27 inch model. I, uh, I upgraded the RAM and everything, which isn't like fully necessary if you're doing like just photo stuff. All right guys, so Justin is actually out of town in Paris right now for a phone event. So I'm gonna take over this outro. And if you've made it to this point of the video, I just wanted to personally congratulate you and I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know if you guys wanna see more of these types of videos. But next video should be back to regular programming and I hope you guys enjoyed this. So I'll see you in the next one.